All right, so today we are going to talk about how to bind to an enum in WPF. I'm going to use Visual Studio 2019 today for this demo. And uh, WPF.NET Framework, we have selected it up here. Let's go ahead and say next and give it a name. I'm going to call this WPF Object data provider and let's click create and let Visual Studio prep our design surface I think we are ready let me flip my panes as I always do this a little smaller and make the right pane a little larger okay so I'm um, for this one I'm gonna start with code behind by creating an enum let's clean that up so <clears throat> Let's call this example one. All right, so create, let's create an enum, public enum. Let's call this seasons or season. Okay, so we have four seasons. Let's type them in winter. Spring summer and fall okay so now we want to bind to this enum let's go back to our design surface let me start with creating a few rows and columns so create that uh, column definitions i'll have two columns and then two columns here and let's add some rows read that show definitions let's copy and paste a few times it says six rows Okay, so we have six rows and two columns. Let me collapse these two, minimize them. We don't need them in the way. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to, for our enum, I'm going to add a new combo box. So combo box, and that's going to be right here in first column, first row, so I don't need to set those. I'm gonna give it a font size of 30 <clears throat> excuse me so combo box is ready enum is ready now we need to create a bridge to connect them okay so our bridge is going to be in windows resources section it's going to be a resource and it's something called object data provider it's going to be our bridge to connect to the enum. So since it's a resource, we need a key. I'm just gonna call this ODP season seasons. Okay. Uh, once we specify the key, we need to set the object type. Object type is going to be set curly braces it's going to be x type <clears throat> and this is going to be an enum um, next i'm 
I'm going to need a method name. And enum has a method called get names. That's the method we're going to use to get the uh, collection. All right, let's uh, open close this. Now, as you can see, we have a little error here. Enum is not supported in WPF, it says basically. That's because we need to bring in a namespace here. And that namespace is going to be system.microlips. Um, so xmlns, we'll call this sys equals clr.microlips, system. Uh, we don't need the security part here, security claims. We don't need that part. So it's just system assembly microlip. And now, we're going to reference this right here, right before the enum. Okay, so once we do that, it slides up here. And um, now we are able to use that namespace. Okay, I've done these two, three items here. We need to, we need something called object data provider method parameters. And IntelliSense is really helpful is as if it knows what we want. So inside here, we're going to say X type again, X type, and this is going to be type name. The type name is local from our local namespace here, and we are going to reference to the name of our enum. So local column season. We close this. Uh, maybe this should be it does not exist. Okay. So let's build this. I think that's why. Mm, and yes, it cleared up. Okay, so we have our bridge. This is our bridge. Okay, object data provider. Now we need to hook this bridge up to our combo box. Let's go inside our combo box and let's set the item source to binding source equals open close curly braces static resource and odp seasons that's our key so now we should have let me bring this up here so we can see the whole line still not let me actually make this a little larger you can just watch the health portion of our UI. Alright, so now we are all hooked up and let's test this. Let's go ahead and run this. And let's see what we get. And voila. We have our season hooked up to our combo box. So that's for a standalone enum. Okay, so that's our first example. We're gonna have a couple more probably. Let's start with the, I mean, let's continue with the second one. All right, so example two, let's call this. Two. And let's create another enum, public enum, uh, let's call this genre. Uh, let's say, have a few genres, book genres, thinking of book genres, so history, um, technology, 
I'm just making up stuff. Novel. It's like types. Okay. So we're going to use that enum inside a class. All right. Let's create a book class. We'll have two properties here. First one is going to be title, a string title. Next one is going to be type of our enum, which is genre. Type of genre, let's call this genre. All right. Alright, so let's create one more class that's going to supply us data. So public class books. Okay, inside here I want to have a method. It's going to be a public static method. And it's going to return a list of books. Let's call this get box. And this is going to return us a new list of books and um, let's add the books inside our curly braces. So the first book is going to be a new book. Title, it's going to be XML data provider. Let's say the genre is equals genre dot let's assume this is a history book okay new book our second book the title it's going to be XML data provider uh, object data provider And the genre is going to be genre dot, let's say this is a novel. All right, just making stuff up. Okay, it's a new book. It's our third book. The title is going to be Binding to Enum. Binding to enums. And let's say the genre is genre dot technology. Okay, let's call the to, to list method to return the list. Okay, no issues found. So it looks good. Let's build this. And let's go back to our design surface. Let's create a uh, list box. This list box. Mm, let me give this a font size and a background. Actually, let's first place this in somewhere here uh, let's put it right here i think this column here should be fine so row should be three i think create that row three let's 
get a background of beige. Um, font size 24. Let's close this out. And a row span. We need a row span of that row span it's going to span three column and three rows okay all right so our list box is ready let's create another ob a bridge object data provider so object data provider we need a key let's call this ODP books okay so our object type this time is going to be x type it's not going to be enum it's going to be local books so we are hooking up to our class here books class here we just create it okay so that's our object type our method name it's going to be this guy here get box let me copy and paste that and that's that and I think that should take care of the bridge now finally we can hook that up actually before we hook it up i want to create a data template mm, no we can hook up first i think that's fine let's do item source bring that down next line item source is going to be binding source static resource odp books okay and we have three book objects in there now next thing i want to do is create a list box item template i didn't expand the list box that's why let me expand this by close it here and add an extra close tag. So inside our list box, let's add list box that item template. Item template is going to need a data template. And inside a data template, let's add a stack panel. And uh, a couple of text blocks. So the first text block is going to be bound to the title. So binding title. And then before that, let me actually um, build this one more time. Let's see if the IntelliSense can pick up the properties. So with the object data provider, it doesn't pick up the uh, properties, so we have to type in manually. Okay, so that's the title, and we got the titles here, right, in real time. All right, so next one is going to be our enum, and that's going to be binding to genre. And there we have it. Let's run and test. Perfect. So we have the title and the genre right there. Okay. Increase the row span to three, actually four. Let me go start with. that's better 
we have more space for that list box. Okay, so I want to do one more example, and that's going to be based on if you want to filter the data inside our object data provider. So for that, I'm going to create another method here. I'm going to copy and paste this. Basically, it's going to be the same um, with the difference of having a parameter. So string, let's say I have string parameter here. Let's say book type. Okay, and I want to filter this list based on that variable. So I'm going to say dot where book equals it's a lambda expression book dot genre to string equals uh, let's say um, I should know we're going to pass in that variable book type. Okay, so we are filtering this based on this variable we're going to pass in from our XAML. Okay, so for that I'm going to add another object data provider. Actually, I'm going to copy and paste this. It's going to be very similar with a couple of slight changes. So I'm copy and paste. I'm going to change the key to ODB back. Books 2, ODP books 2. If I can spell it right, it's still the same method. Um, now, let's change the method name to, let's add a 2 here, so we know it's just tell you're using a different method here. And basically, compiler knows because when we pass the parameter, it knows which one it's going to, but uh, it's just to differentiate the 2 from each other. All right, so I'm going to expand this I'm gonna to have to pass in method parameters like I did here up here for the enum so object data provider method parameters and inside here I'm gonna just pass in a plain let's say history so that's our gonna be our filter so this is this one is going to provide me it's going to hook up to the second method here and it's going to filter them based on this variable which is going to come through here and then filter it with this lambda expression okay it's going to return the filter list so now what's going on here could not be a result. Uh, I think we, I did delete some stuff without realizing it. Let me back up a little bit. All right, so copy, paste, call this two books to get books to, and let's uh, bring that object data up, method parameters. Uh, need to expand this. And let's type in history again. Okay. All right. Now we don't have it there. Okay. So I'm going to add another list box. Let's build first. Make sure we don't have any errors. Okay. That's good. So let's add another list box. And let's put this in column two, which is column one actually. I'm 
my keyboard is pretty sensitive. All right, and uh, let's get a background color. Let's give it a bit. No, no. Uh, that's that's fine. Alice blue. All right. Font size. Let's go with twenty four again. Okay. Now let's set the item source. Let's bring this down here. Let's set the item source to binding source. Same way. As we did the first list box, static resource ODB books two. So, uh, okay, let's give it the row span. It's only covering one row, so let's read that row span. Let's say four. Okay. All right, so we got only one book. That's because it's already filtering. How do we know that? If I comment this out, we get nothing. Let's build this. All right, so when I guess when we have the parameters, we need to supply something. So if I remove this completely and rebuild, I should get three books. And I get nothing because our method returns a filtered list. Okay, so since we are calling that filtered we're supplying the parameter, we have to supply the parameter here too well. Because this method here requires a parameter. Okay, so let me comment this back. Uh, and let's type in technology. Okay, and let's go ahead and create the item template for our list box. Data templates, stack panel, and our text blocks. Let's copy in. We can actually copy this whole thing from here. All right, so we have our text blocks in there. That's good to go. And we have our book right here. Let's run this. And this is our filtered list, this is our regular list, and that's our enum. So let's try to do one little ex one more example and let's try to bind a combo box to the enum that we have in here uh, in our class. So let's mark this as example three. Okay. Let's have a little experiment here. So combo box. Uh, let's see the font size and thirty. Let's place this into grid dot column one. Grid dot row. Let's go with five. All right, it's all the way down below here. And uh, let's set the item source to uh, binding source static resource. Let's uh, use the first, the one we used for the 
this list box here, the page one. Let's use that uh, resource. Okay. So the resource, and let's run, let's see what we have so far. So we get the book of objects, three book objects, so we are on the right path. We have the class name so far, and we need a path now. So path, it's going to be our genre. Let's see if this works. I'm not positive. Actually, let's run this. No. Uh, I think we have to not just pad, we have to say display member and display member. Let's remove all this and add a display member. Display member pad genre. Let's try that way. And there we have it. Beautiful. All right. So we have standalone enum here. Here we have enum inside a class. Here is a filtered one. And here with a combo box. But with the second example, we use the second class we create. All right. Um, to recap, let's see what we have here with regular enum, so if you are binding to a regular enum these three um, three items here is pretty much standard, we need a key inside our object data provider we need object type and also a method name and I think I forgot the method name here I uh, should have added the method name here too. We need a method name. Okay, and then we need met method parameters. Um, as shown in this example here. All right, so object data provider, key, object type, method name. And since it's a regular enum, we need to set the object data provider method parameters to X type, type name, and the name of the enum we created in this example we created this guy here so genre genre comes over here uh, the method names comes from the built-in methods of the enum okay and the item source get to set to the key when we set the item source of a list box or combo box we use the key to connect the bridge Okay, as far as regular methods, when we bind to a regular method, again we need the key, we need the object type. In this case, we are passing the class name that provides us the data. In our example, it was the book class, and book class is right here. It's called as x type local, it's in local namespace, and we are referencing the books class here. And then next, the method name. Again, we're using this method name, get box method. And if you need a parameter, if you want to filter data, then you use the uh, object data provider method parameters. All right. And uh, lastly, I guess we can say binding is the same way for the item source of the list box or the combo box. Except the last example we did, we need the 
it's a combo box coming from this class. We're using this class. We need to set the display member path to the enum or property. I think the same goes with the property too, if I remember correctly. Yep. All right, so that's it for now. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.